Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today this is the paper that I'm going to be drawing on and I have a tutorial on Etsy if you want to check that out how to make these papers. So let's get started. <laughs> Today I'm drawing with a new pen, which I love this pen. It clicks and uh, the color is just beautiful. So if it's on Amazon, I'll link it below. It just writes very smoothly. It's fabulous. And it's my favorite color too. So uh, this is a pattern that I made up. So if you guys have seen it somewhere else or something, because there are so many, please let me know. I don't, uh, you know, I can't memorize every, every Zen Tango out there. So we start out drawing like this. And you can draw it like kind of like a border or, you know, whatever you want. And then we make another one like this. Like that. And... Could even do it a third time. You can keep going as long as you want. And um, after that, what I like to do is draw some circles in between these spaces, like this. I'm gonna flip my paper and do it here. I just dropped my son off at soccer practice, so I thought I would make a video while I'm waiting for him. And um, I forgot to mention that I am calling this one, I guess I'll put it in the beginning, I'm calling this one Foreman. And then we go like this. I'll demonstrate that again. And go kind of like a filler like that. Do it again. And go like this. Flip the paper around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like that. So now the next step is from here, like we're going to kind of keep continuing with this line. That's why I'm glad I drew it three times because I'm going to demonstrate it so you can see what I'm talking about. So we're just going to go like this. Like that. So we're just going to kind of flow this line. Like that. And then come back through here. And do it again. Like that. And now we will go from here and come up to here. But when I come up I want to do a little bit of a curve like that. I'll demonstrate that again. Like that and like that. And we could leave it like this or I thought I kind of wanted to maybe just fill that in like that. Come over here and do it again. And again, on this side, on this one, and over here, like that. So that is the basis of this pattern, but once we get to some shading, it really makes this pattern pop I think so in between all these little circles here you want to kind of just fill that in and I was drawing I'm drawing pretty quickly for this channel because I'm trying to do it in real time but I also want well, you know I, I don't want to be too slow at it so I don't lose some of you guys and uh, right here fill that in Wait, I don't like how that looks. Well, let's clean that up a little bit. 
like this. <clears throat> so I've been having a much better week than last week. I was so sick last week. And this week has been much better. Yesterday I even cut my own hair. Can you believe that, you guys? I've been cut I've cut my hair many times before, but I use a um a thing called a create a clip to cut it. I have pretty long hair. And I even cut the back and everything myself. It's a really cool device. I've owned it for like about seven years. And uh, I've saved a lot of money on haircuts. So I cut my own. Because spring is coming and I have so, such long hair. I cut layers in it and everything. And they have it on Amazon. I'll link it below if I can find it. I think they have it on Amazon. But yeah, I feel good having a new haircut. I'm one I'm a person that I like to go in and get my hair cut in a way, but I'm kind of shy and it's nerve-wracking making small talk and you know, this and that. So I actually there's good and bad. It feels good to have your hair washed, you know, it's very calming and this and that, but I get kind of nervous when I go in. <laughs> I know what a weirdo, right? So that is Foreman. And um, you could even do more line weight here. Like this. I don't know if you guys can hear the birds. We have a lot of birds around here. They're chirping and chirping even though it's uh, really, really dark and dreary here today. Ohio has a lot of rain in the the uh, springtime. And it's colder today. It's very cold. And then we go like this. Keep going. We could add some line weight here and here. Like that. This pen is just, oh, it just writes like silk. I can't. I can't explain how much I love it. I'm going to get more colors. You know, I have been drawing with the Uniball, which I love. This is very similar. But I like this color a lot. So, there is Foreman. Now, what I thought I would do is I'm taking a Prismacolor and the color is uh, Aqua. And I'm going to do some, I don't like how that looks, not, it's not perfect enough here. I'm going to take my Prismacolor in Aqua and do some shading with that first. So I thought I would just maybe add some shading here and here. On these little triangles maybe a little more off to the side here like that just very lightly and do it on all of these like this to just give it a little more of that aqua that pretty color make it pop a little bit so we'll color all that in and then I will take <clears throat> excuse me my pencil it's a 4B fabric castle yeah 4B and on these I will add a little bit of graphite right on top of that prisma color and then blend that in Like that and just a little bit like in these corners blend it in it's a lot of shading for this Zentangle this one but it's worth it if you take the time and do your shading It'll make it look a lot better. 
like that. Maybe blend it out a little bit. And I'll do that on all of these and I will be right back. Okay, and we can take our Prismacolor and just color these in like this. And just go along. You know me, I always like adding color to my Zentangle drawings like that. And then to add some more shading, I think it would look good to maybe do it right here on each side. And like that. And then take your blending stump and just blend that in like this. And I will do that and turn the paper over and we will do that again right here. This really could use some nice shading too. So we're going to go along this little area here and add some graphite and then add some here kind of in here and here and then take your blending stump and blend that out a little bit I wish I had a white Prismacolor I think this would look good if I had some white right here but I don't think I have a white one on me darn it okay um, I'll show that again so right here just go like this kind of like curve it Go right in here and kind of curve it right here like that my stupid fingers are going numb again this darn shading gets the best of me every time boy am I tired of these numb fingers and go like this just shade along there it's this motion I have um, doodle sticks which I can use instead of the blending stump but I keep forgetting to put them in my case I think I'm going to let me see here I think this needs a little bit of line weight right here what do you guys think these just add some line weight like this yeah so we're gonna really jazz up this Zentangle here add some line right there I'll do that on each one of these little triangles and I'll be right back okay here it is all done let me know what you guys think please leave me a comment and thanks so much for watching bye